In this video, I'm going to share with you three tips on how you can escape negative thoughts when you have ADHD. If we haven't met yet, my name is Sarah and I'm an ADHD mindset coach. I come out with videos every single week on everything around ADHD and mindset that are geared towards specifically females who found out that they have ADHD in adulthood just like myself. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button and turn on the notifications to my channel so that you never miss a video from me. Let me ask you a question. Do you often find yourself ruminating on negative thoughts, worrying about things that haven't even happened yet or feeling stuck in negative mindset patterns? You're not alone. I do too. The good news is that we have the power to change the way you think and feel by mastering your mindset. In this video, I'll show you how neuroplasticity can help you rewire your brain and then how you can use it to your advantage. I am guessing that you would love to take control of your thoughts and emotions. I know that I do. Are you tired of feeling overwhelmed by negative thinking patterns? Then keep watching because these tips can help you break free from the cycle of negativity and start living a more positive life. Let's get right into it with tip number one and that's identifying negative thought patterns. The first step to escaping negative of thoughts is to identify them. Pay attention to your self-talk and notice when you're engaging in negative thinking patterns. Write down the negative thoughts and try to identify the triggers that lead to these thoughts. By becoming aware of your negative thought patterns, it can start to change them and replace them with more positive ones. Tip number two, reframe negative thoughts. The second tip is to reframe negative thoughts once you've identified your negative thought patterns. Try to reframe them in a positive light. Instead of focusing on what's going wrong, focus on what's going right. For example, if you catch yourself thinking, I'm never going to be good enough, reframe it to I'm doing the best that I can. And that's enough, that's perfectly fine. This small shift in perspective can make a world of difference on how you think and feel. Before I share the last tip, tell me in the comments what tactics you have used to escape negative thoughts. And if you are female and you found out that you have ADHD in adulthood and you struggle with self-esteem and negative thinking, I have a free masterclass linked below this video that goes over the five pillars to creating lasting change that is authentic and not forced. So feel free to click that link after you listen to the last tip and register for my mini masterclass. All right, let's get into tip number three, and it's simple, practicing gratitude. The third tip is to practice gratitude. Focus on what you are grateful for, even if it's something small. This can help you shift your focus from negativity to positivity. Start a gratitude journal and write down three things that you're grateful for every day. This can help you train your brain to focus on the good things that are happening in your life. An analogy that I really love to use is think of your brain as a lush forest. Now, neural pathways, think of it as an actual path that you're walking down in this lush forest, are going to be easier to travel the more we travel of them. So with negative thinking, if you are constantly thinking negative and constantly saying negative things to yourself and ruminating on things that have already happened or catastrophizing things that haven't happened yet, those narrow pathways are going to be a really clear path for you to walk down. In order to change things up and to start implementing more positive thought patterns, it's going to feel really uncomfortable at first if you're not used to it. And just like going through a lush forest and trying to create a trail for yourself that you've never walked before, there's going to be thistles, there's going to be brush in the way, you're going to need a machete or, or whatever you use to, to cut the foliage out of the way so that you can start using that narrow pathway more than the negative narrow pathway. In the beginning, it will feel really uncomfortable, but the more you travel it, the, the more the path will widen for you and the easier it'll be to travel in the future. Mindfulness is a practice. It is not a destination. It is something that if you just do it a little bit every day, moving the needle in the right direction, eventually that lush forest with that new pathway that you've created will be comfortable to travel down. Now, once you've done this a ton and the negative thoughts come in or the rumination of something that hasn't even happened yet or reliving a negative event in the past, 
because you've traveled the positive pathway so often, that negative pathway will start feeling a little bit uncomfortable. And why is that? If you ignore a trail that has had a lot of travel on in the past and nobody travels on it anymore, the foliage comes back. And so this is very much an analogy that I really love to think about when it comes to changing how we see the world, how we perceive ourselves and the things that we say to ourselves. And if you would like to watch a video all about lucky girl syndrome that talks a little bit more about the reticular activator part of your brain and how you can really program your brain to get anything that you want in life, there is a video linked to this video that you can watch that. If you want to learn more about how to master your mindset and escape negative thoughts, check out my mini masterclass on ADHD and mindset. In this masterclass, you'll learn practical strategies for rewiring your brain and taking control of your thoughts and emotions. Click the link in the description of this video to sign up. If you found these tips helpful, please hit the like button and share this video with a fellow ADHD or who you care about. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, you have the power to change your thoughts and emotions by mastering your mindset. By practicing these tips, you can break free from negative thinking patterns and start living a more positive life. I really enjoyed making this video for you. I hope you enjoyed it as well, and I will see you in the next one.